I'm going to do is panna cotta with a strawberry soup. First thing we've got to do is macerate our strawberries. So when you talk about macerating, it's just marinating, but you're actually using fruit. So to make the soup, you're going to need about 500 grams of strawberries, which is about two punnets. What we're going to do is put about 80 grams of sugar over the top, 80 mils of port. Just mix it around. Grab some cling film and put it over the top. You're going to put it in a warm spot for an hour and then sit it in the fridge overnight and the strawberries are going to start to get soft and release all that beautiful flavour. Time to make the panna cotta. We're going to use 360 mils of milk, 80 grams of sugar, 80 grams of sugar. I'm going to grab one vanilla bean and strip out some seeds. Right, now we're going to put that on the heat to a simmer just before it boils. Now I've got six leaves of gold strength gelatin here. I'm just going to add some water just to soften it up. Our panna cotta's on, our gelatin's soaking, our fruit is being macerated. I'm just going to cut some garnish. So some nice big strawberries. I'm just going to cut it into some nice dice. You can just feel all the juiciness coming out. They are so good. Now our panna cotta mix is ready to add the gelatin. Try and get as much excess water off as possible and place it in the milk. Stir it round and it'll just dissolve. So the thing to do now is actually put it back into a metal bowl, place it over some ice. We're gonna let that come down to room temperature before we add our yogurt. Our panna cotta mix now has come to room temperature. We're gonna add 360 mils of yogurt. I'm using thick natural yogurt. I'm gonna give it a mix around. Right, now this is ready to go into our moulds. Now the moulds have actually been pre-oiled. So I'm just gonna pour them in. The reason why we oil them is to actually get them out easier. And there we have six perfect panna cottas. We're gonna put them in the fridge. You're actually better off leaving these overnight with the strawberries. Right, one last thing to do before we plate up. I actually macerated some strawberries last night and they're ready to go. So I'm just gonna strain the soup. Now you can see these strawberries, they're all gone soft and mushy. And all we want is that beautiful nectar out of the strawberries. Now, I'm just gonna set that aside. Now I wasn't only busy macerating strawberries last night, I actually made some panna cottas also. Now to get these little guys out, what we're going to do is just break the seal on the top. And what we need to do is get some air behind the panna cotta and it'll just push it out. It's got the perfect little wobble. That's exactly what you want. So very carefully, just down around the side. Oh, you can really smell this strawberry. Now to garnish it, grab our diced strawberries. Strawberries and basil, to me, great combination. You can place some basil around the outside. And last but not least, some strawberry flowers. Look at that, our gorgeous summer dessert, panna cotta and strawberry soup.